I will now discuss arraying or aligning of the means, which are the resources and ways to the ends from the top down approach. And I'll exp explain this using this uh, slide model. This slide model is a bird's eye view of the national security ecosystem. And I'll discuss, I'll discuss it from the right. Uh, I believe you can see the end state. Mm. The end state, from the perspective of national security, this is the fulfillment of national interest. It is the dream or vision of a secure, stable, economically endowed and happy nation state. And that is the sequence. The sequence is secure, then you gain stability. Then, once you have done that, then you can develop economically. And finally, the happy nation state. You'll find that this is elucidated in your national anthems, the preamble to the constitution and the constitution's definition of values, beliefs, principles, and articles promoting and protecting sovereignty. National interest is a tool by which citizens and policymakers use to understand the goals and objectives that the country wishes to pursue in both the domestic and international systems. National interest present the spirit of the people and the constitution, the letter. A state has many national interests. These interests of the state are what are known as national interest. Therefore, national security strategy promotes this and protects this interest. The question then becomes, what he does the attainment of these interests? Now this takes me to the challenges of managing security resources in Africa today. And that is the second point I want to bring, which is which are shown as COG. COG is the center of gravity. The center of gravity of these challenges that he does management of these security resources. I have, oh, hello. Can you go one slide up? Slide one was what I had given. Hello, slide, slide two should be slide one. Eh? Can you go up? This is joint command. Yeah, because there, there, there you are. Yeah, yeah. You went to that. You went to okay. The instead I have described the national interest. Now the COG, which is the center of gravity, I have put social justice as the hub of all challenges in our beloved continent as core hindrance, and we can I will, we can discuss this the why why is social justice the the center of gravity of all the challenges? We can, we can just. Discuss this during the question and answer. However, Africa has a, a myriad of and plethora of challenges. I thank Dr. Assis because of what he has said. The main problem these days, and I say today, is really not the knowledge about structures, systems, processes, and the construction of national plans, but it is the moral inadequacy impunity and extreme weak and forcedness institutions within the leadership space. There's theft of national resources and corruption, including budget corruption, have become a culture as profligate and frugality at the policy and top leadership levels increase every day with every government. There's not a single government in Africa, maybe Rwanda, that you can say <laughs> this is in that category. High government spending, lackless wastefulness, unemployment, the youth bulge increasingly causing insecurity due to unemployment and endemic poverty are extant challenges. So you, you, you emerging leaders, you, because in another 15 years you're making strategic decisions on these resources. So you imagine leaders have a gigantic challenge on how to build a culture 
that inculcate values, integrity, positive attitudes, and principle of doing what is right, what is in the constitution, what is constitutionally right. And this is our profession, April. This is a professional requirement. This is the center of gravity of challenges, as if you must punish. But we don't do that. Impunity. In Kenya, the other day, a minister picked six billion. He is walking six billion using a WhatsApp. <laughs> a WhatsApp telling the controller of budget bring six billion, which is equivalent to about six million dollars, and he has walked away. And, and not in Kenya alone, the whole of Africa. Now, the ability to solve national problems the right way, the constitutional way, is the main problem. Uh, and we don't punish. Therefore, the, I said social justice. Uh, and therefore, the, the, the actual challenges. It's not that we don't know what we are supposed to do. It is the audacity of doing what is wrong and getting away with it. That, is, that, that to me is the, is the main problem. So that is, the, that is the challenge that we have. Now I come to the means. The means which is our focus uh, in, this, uh, uh, in, this, uh, in this session. And I, I thank uh, Dr. Aziz because he has mentioned a few. But I, I want to quote uh, Hans Morgenthau on politics among nations. Uh, in, 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 in a way that he has, dis he has defined means. He says that they are both tangible and intangible resources, um, the capacity of the economy to produce goods and services. Uh, and, and, and we end down with human capital. Uh, human capital is a, a, a function of all those in working age, population quality, future demographic projections, cultural resources and values, natural values, uh, capital, knowledge, information and technological resources, institution quality, and so forth. And then, more importantly, the popular support of the government. However, our focus here is government resources in terms of government expenditure, military resources, including material, and economic governance through plans, programs, and a budget. However, there is a most critical mean, which is time. Time for both revenue collection and expenditure is very critical. That is one of the biggest weaknesses, particularly with the, 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 the military budget and other security budgets. We normally don't give the lead times. You find that within one year cycle, if you are going to procure a uh, and equipment abroad, it takes almost about 11, 11 months. So by the time you you start procuring, you have the, the, the cycle has already begun. Again, therefore time, time in terms of, uh, as a means, is uh, an, 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 uh, in terms of the collection of the levy book, because you must collect the taxes, and then the expenditure uh, is, is one of the critical ingredients. Uh, uh, now the way, uh, the way. Hello, hello. Don't, don't, don't leave. Don't leave the that that uh, that place. Don't, don't leave that. Uh, why should you go back to this the scope? I mean, to the first slide. Eh? Yeah, there we go. Now I come back. I come. I go to wait until I say next slide. Eh? Now the way is you can see the line of activities. Uh, the line of activities that is I have put human dignity there because it is very critical. It's something that you must have in mind all the time because that is the main, that is the main challenge. And it is the end state. It is the end state. Uh, you, have the, you have the political line of activity, which is also a means. You have got the economic, you have got the administrative governance, and then you have got the private sector and civil society. In terms of means and in terms of budget, these, these, these are critical. I'll give you an example because of why we have put the center of gravity is social injustice. Normally, in Africa today, the main challenge is political and economic. Now, you can only use the military to solve an economic and social political problem. Even if you take 100 years, you'll never solve that. <laughs> you see? So, you've, the, the means 
to solve a political problem, the main effort is solving. The mean, the mean to solve an economic problem. Uh, 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 I think 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 I The economic, economic, the economic, economic. An economic, economic problem must, must be solved. Oh, oh, if you are, for example, you want to attain a vision of a country becoming uh, a developed country in 20 years, say, vision 2030, then the, the economic problems that are there must be solved economically. Administrative governance is also critical. Now what happens, you must, you must have a main effort and you must have the supporting, the supporting efforts. And this is why you have the means, an economic means, must, main effort must be economic. Uh, uh, the private sector and the civil society are critical in terms of mobilizing and and, and, and monitoring and evaluation. Because the private sector, uh, in terms of the means, is where you are going to have production. And then the civil society is going to make the, 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 the population aware. It's part, of, it's part of one of the mobilizing factor in terms of the means. This is, this is critical. Now, orchestration, uh, governance and orchestration. Governance and orchestration. The, the, the governance includes the orchestration and harmonization of all these national means in order to create oneness among them and maneuvering that oneness to create synergy through a pathway which is a critical pathway that leads now to the end state while ensuring that the public is mobilized the public participating in key implementation factor of the budget. Mm. That, that budget participation is most crucial. It can take even two, three months. Mm. For example, right now in, uh, in the US, I see the, the, the president has to call the head of the opposition, you know, so that they can agree to increase the debt ceiling. This is what is happening in Kenya right now. And public participation is most crucial, and the civil society is is is, is critical. So to, to to orchestrate is to direct and sequence the national security elements through a critical path to produce the desired effect, which will create an additional impact on the targeted area, which is the social justice. Therefore, in my in my thoughts and opinion, the most the, the most critical thing is to overcome the challenge to overcome the challenge of uh, corruption, really. <laughs> and, the, and the enforcement, the, the enforcement uh, of this. Now, we move to slide three, which is the same thing, top level. Now you can move to the next slide, which is a joint command. The, this slide is at the national service level. Here I've put national military strategy. You can put uh, the police as a service, you can put all this. Now, the key thing here is that the same head state today, today the, the main the main issues from a security point of view are internal. Yeah, they have got to do with internal security, peacekeeping. Uh, oh, uh, th there are uh, issues to do with human security. Because those are th those are the, the key issues. Therefore, the center of gravity will be the hearts and minds, and the end state will be the actual stability, the stability of a particular region, the the, uh, the stability of a particular country. The st that is what is the key the key problem. And the advantage with this is that all 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 of you, whether it is immigration, whether it is police, whether it is um, um, uh, judicially, uh, whether it is, uh, yeah, judicially, legal officers, all of us, all of you are involved in a joint, 
within the joint command. Even if I put uh, land, air, maritime, comms, and space there, all of you are involved. You'll find that the J5, who is in the joint command, uh, who are in the planning, are the ones now who will plan this. And then the J3s, of, because we are looking at means, then the, 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 J3, the J3s, the logistics guys in uh, land, air, maritime, uh, and other components, and other components will be there during the, the 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 planning process. The allies will also be there because uh, within the joint command. And the means, the actual means uh, will be planned by um, uh, by the logs guys uh, for logistic support. And the actual synergy then is done by J5. Yeah, the actual J uh, is then is, is brought in by J5. However, at J5 and, uh, and the construction by J5 and J8. However, however, even within the first slide, the the presidential advisors, whether it is national security advisor, uh, national economic advisor, national medical advisor, all these people are the ones who will be within the gas governance space for the purposes of uh, for the purposes of orchestration uh, and therefore the the, the 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 means and the ways yeah uh, then the land means uh, the air space means maritime all that communication and space they will be within that area uh, I come to the space uh, to the systems and the uh, approaches uh, Before I cover the system and approaches, let me first of all say what are the organs and structures and systems and approaches that ensure that management of resources are integrated on the national budget. Now the means, what are, what are the structures? Now the budget is anchored on several laws, acts of parliament, statutes and regulations upon which it draws its mandate structures and systems. This include, this include the Public Finance Management Act, and I'm talking from a Commonwealth jurisprudence, and I believe even within the French system and the Porsche's system, because all of us uh, base our uh, our jurisprudence from you know from the colonial uh, from the colonial system that we inherited, you'll have you'll have about seven laws, you know, or statutes, if you like, and regulations and that, 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 anchored, that are anchored on the constitution. The Public Finance Management Act is, act, is the, would be the first one in the constitution. Then the Public Finance Management General Regulations. Then the Public Procurement Act. Then the Public Procurement Regulations. And uh, today you have the local government or county counties where this is applicable finance management act the point to note here is that the budget planning process institutions and cycles are fully governed and, and organized by the law which ensures that government policy is aligned to public needs now having statutes and this is the problem as I said, the challenge, having the law, the statutes, the regulations is meaningless. If you are not going to follow them, if you, and <laughs> if you are going to override them, and this is the impunity, that the minister can override the control of budget, that the, the and this, the whole of this is supposed to be guided by parliament, a parliament has, that has got no teeth. You know, this is this is the main challenge. This is why these nine billion are going because nobody is being uh, that I like the nine six two because nobody nobody is ensuring that people answer. Yeah, nobody is trying to to repair the bucket from where all this is uh, is going is going is 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 is, uh, is going from. Now the 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 the, the principles. Uh, on how you go about this, 
my sister Willin will 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 will, will, will talk about this. Now, this slide, uh, I'll, I'll explain a bit on the on the right the approach. So, no, 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 no. Please, please, please go back. I I, I finish with there. I, I will not explain the. I mean, this system strategic, cooperation, or tactical contingency of approach that this you have because it is, it is equivalent to the levels. The levels, the levels of uh, command, and the levels of strategic command. This you know. Now, what I described earlier was the was the top down approach, which helps in creating a budget that is aligned to the national interest. You see, because you describe the national interest, interest, and the key thing uh, is it, uh, it is it, you are able to define the priorities. Mm. What are the priorities? Then you have got the incremental uh, uh, approach. Then you have got the team approach, where you compare, and and and, and uh, as this Dr. Aziz wrote this very well, where you compare the opportunity cost in terms of outcomes. I will give you an example. When I was the Atusda General, but about twenty seven years ago, one of our key problems in our country in Kenya is. Uh, Within the same year, because of marginalization, and there's a problem, you have got uh, a problem of cattle rustling, you have got high levels of internal security. Now, internal security is really not a military problem per se, it's secondary. But the center of gravity, the, the problem is there's arid and semi-arid area. And the center of gravity of this, of this area is water. It's because it's arid and semi-arid. So if you saturate the area with water, people who and and, and is a cattle and is a cattle is livestock development area. If you saturate the area with water and infrastructure, then you check the movement of the cows. I mean of the animals, camels, goats, and all that kind of thing. And you you so what you do is you ensure that every five kilometers. Say, say every 10, 15 kilometers, you have put enough water in terms of pans and so forth. When we when we we came in with the with the with the chiefs then and the service commanders, we saw that because we are being occupied with things really that are not military, what do we do about it? Put aside, and I'm talking about this in terms of priority and opportunity cost. We put aside our development. Uh, the budget that we had for development of the military issues per se, and we decided we we saw that that budget where well would have bought about a squadron of tanks. Imagine a squadron of tanks. We it was enough for us to construct to 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 develop or construct a whole engineer construction battalion. So instead of buying tanks, we bought graders. You know, graders. You know, graders, and we also bought. Uh, um, equipment dozers. You know, we bought dozers, we bought grozers. Instead of buying artillery, we bought water drilling equipment. You know, we we went for soft because it is a soft, it's a socio political problem. If you go, if you remember what I said about the first line, because this is a winning the hearts and minds of the people. So, so these people, what they require is water. So we brought in water. We did about 200, I remember 536 uh, kilometers of, uh, <laughs> of, uh, of roads. Now the problem is, is sustainment. The military cannot sustain. That should be sustained by the Minister of Water, the Minister of Agriculture, the, because it's food security. The issue is food security. Water is food, isn't it? Without water, there is no life. <laughs> now, uh, but we could not sustain that. So sustainment is another thing. Therefore, in terms of what uh, Dr. Aziz said, the opportunity comes terms, uh, so incremental and team approach, team where you compare opportunity costs in terms of outcomes. So what is the outcome? The outcome is a socio-political, you are solving a socio-economic, you are solving a socio-economic problem, which is bringing the violence, the internal security. So then you need to sit down with the Minister of Water, Minister of Agriculture, because of food, Minister of Food, Minister of Water, all this, so that you now decide how to, to, to tackle this problem. So this is where you have these approaches. Then you must sit down as a team. No matter what works, what works uh, is the multiple approach 
system. Um, finally, uh, the systems must not only create the systems must, only, must not only create unity of purpose, but allow for accountability and public participation at every level of command. Every level, every level of command, every level of leadership you must ensure that you satisfy public participation because this is public money. The budget is public money. Uh, and it must be, it, it must, it must be, it must be accounted for. You must account it for, uh, for that. My older sister, Willine, will now discuss principles and systems of national budget cycle and best practices. Thank you very much.